and prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam has advised all the believers to eat and drink and uh, in this pre dawn meal or sahri as hazrat anas radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu reports in muslim and bukhari that prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said the sahir fa inna fi sahuri baraka that take your meal before dawn because there is blessing in it there is blessing in it so we should not all deprive ourselves from these blessings of sahri and you know like there is a routine of certain people that they stay up late till night and like uh, at midnight they get a home delivery or they eat up something and then they just sleep through the time of sahri no this person is depriving herself or himself from all the blessings of this this auspicious time and so to start with i will urge all of you and all of us to plan and to get up slightly earlier like half an hour earlier than the required time for the preparation and for the eating of all this meal so that we can all avail of this this best, best of the time in the day this most blessed time of the day because you know hazrat abu huraira radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu reports in bukhari and muslim that prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said about this time that in the last one third of the night allah subhanahu wa ta'ala our lord descends to the lowest heaven our lord descends to the lowest heaven in the last one third of the night and he says who is calling upon me i may answer him who is asking from me i may bless him who is seeking my forgiveness that i may forgive him so let us plan so let us plan that none of us is deprived of all of this we are going even if we cannot make it like half an hour like at least 15 to 20 minutes of this quality time with our merciful allah with our forgiving allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and you know what in the darkness of the night in the darkness of the night our solitude the quietness when we will be in a position of prostration and we will be crying and we will be begging and we will be praying and we will be seeking forgiveness from almighty allah from the al ghafur al ghafir al ghafar he is he is all forgiving he will surely he will surely forgive all of us and he will indeed forgive all of our sins <coughs> so in these auspicious moments all the people all the people will be heard will be answered and their prayers will be accepted so we we need to plan not to waste the opportunity this ramzan we definitely very 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 carefully we need to plan not to waste this opportunity in this ramzan surely and now as far as this meal of sahri is concerned there are no special or specific words for making intention which are proved by the manner or by the sunnah of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and however regarding this meal as hazrat abu darda radhiyallahu ta'ala and who has reported that there are three things from the manner of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and they are hasten the breaking of the fast and to delay the taking of the pre dawn meal that is as close to as close to as the proclamation of the salah of fajr and to place the right hand over the left in salah so we need to eat our meal as close to the azan as possible and remember 
remember that uh, the intention for the obligatory fast, although I'm, I've mentioned that no specific words are needed for making the intention, it is only a state of mind. And like when we are making arrangements for our fast of the next day or making arrangements for the meal of the fast for the next day, that actually implies that we have intention of fasting. So by word of mouth, we do not have to say some specific words for intention. But in our hearts, we need to make the intention of the obligatory fast before dawn and Whereas the, the intention for the supererogatory fasts can be made till noon. And then we need to remember the promise of the Prophet ﷺ that he said that whenever a person is sitting and he is eating and drinking this meal before the dawn, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has orders and he appoints an angel who stands behind him and throughout he is busy consuming the meal the angel keeps on asking for his forgiveness and asking for him to be rewarded with the best of reward hereafter and for him asking for blessings so that is why we need not we need not, we need to be very careful not to avoid this pre-dawn meal and the sehri. Now, after we've taken our meal, we need to remember one thing else also, as has been reported in Hazrat, uh, by Hazrat Abu Huraira in Abu Dawud, the Prophet ﷺ has guided us that when a person is eating his sehri, then, and he has a utensil like a glass or a plate in his hand from which he is eating, he should not put it down immediately when he hear, hears the azan but he should he should satisfy his needs but that is only when we have not been extra lazy and we have intentionally delayed getting up if we had not been able to eat properly then we are allowed and it is permissible to keep on eating or drinking according to our necessity till the last words of the adhan but if we happen to have uh, completed our necessities and requirements, then we just not, uh, without any rhyme or reason, we just need not carry on sipping a cup of tea or anything like that. 